first. Live, local, this is the 9 o'clock news. I just think healthcare in general right now is so chaotic. Anything you can do to help, you need to do. Now at 9, a dire shortage of blood is leading one local woman to roll up her sleeves and donate for the very first time. The consequences that health experts say this problem could bring. It's a devastating problem all across the nation and right here too. The blood supply is critically low, affecting patient care right now. Tonight, Fox 12's Kendra Kent is bringing it all front and center and reports from the Blood Bloodworks Northwest in Vancouver. Well, we've seen these shortages throughout the pandemic, but officials here say it's never been as bad as it is right now. And that comes with real consequences like cancer patients going longer between their treatments that help them feel better while they're fighting their diseases. We're just going to be good friends and I'm just going to hang out with you for a little bit. Okay. For the first time in her life. You're still phone at a, at a decent rate. Karen Sanford of Battleground is donating blood. I mean, I barely felt it. Nice and relaxed, giving her a positive blood Friday here at Bloodworks Northwest's Vancouver Clinic. Well, my husband's a regular donor, and I've always been too chicken, but um, I decided to come with him today. Her bravery couldn't come at a more critical time. Currently, the the blood bank itself is only at a half day supply. It's just a fraction of what Bloodworks Northwest would normally keep on hand, at least a three day supply. But times are desperate nationwide and here in the Pacific Northwest. Blood organizations are calling it the worst blood shortage in a decade with no supply cushion. Doctors and clinicians must ration each pint and make tough decisions. Hospitals are triaging patients now on who needs an immediate blood transfusion versus those who can wait two, three, maybe even a week. Just one catastrophic event, like a big accident or a mass shooting, would collapse the system. Lives will probably be lost. But if Sanford, a self-proclaimed total weenie, can roll up her sleeve. I wanted to address the bigger picture and not my simple fear of needles, which was silly. Maybe she can inspire you to do the same. I just think healthcare in general right now is so chaotic. Anything you can do to help, you need to do. And can you help your fellow Pacific Northwesterners and perhaps even your own neighbors out? There is a critical need for O positive and O negative blood right now. And you can donate up to six times a year. If you do have to miss a donation appointment, be sure to call and cancel so they can give your appointment slot to someone else. Now, Bloodworks Northwest says they need at least 12 weeks of solid filled appointments in order to get that blood supply back up to healthy levels. There are some weeks weekend appointments that are still available here at the Vancouver location. They tell me they also have some weekend appointments available at their battleground location. And I will post the links on how you can sign up online in the online version of this story at kptv.com. Reporting tonight in Vancouver, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.